Hey everyone. Hey, it's Do. I do dots and designs. I am in the studio and I'm doing exactly what I love. And right now it's messing around with old furniture and cleaning it up and getting it beautiful. If you're just coming in and you're seeing this, say hello. I'm a little ways back because I wanted to get the video camera here to where you could actually see the top of this little table that I'm going to be removing the varnish from. But if you come in and, and you see me, say hello. I'd love to know where you're viewing from. Um, let's see. What am I going to do? I got all my products out here. Um, I couldn't wait. I've been, I've been dreaming about this all day because I've been tied up in the office doing my stuff. Uh, hey, hey, cuz, how are you? Hey, Terry. Hey, Paula. Good to see you on. But what I want to come on today and show you guys is, is actually how easy this actually is. Hold on, let me get up here. I'll try not to fall while I'm here. How easy it is actually to strip the varnish off of the top of an old, an old wood piece of uh, furniture. And this is a custom piece that just came in. And the sweet lady, she has, this has a mate to it. It has a big dress or two. This is just a little nightstand. And I thought this would be the easiest to show you. Um, is is to uh, strip this off. She wants a dark top and then she wants a light bottom, just a very classic, clean look, and I thought this would be perfect to show you today with the products that I use. So what I do first is when I get these pieces, there's a, uh, a products list that I use, and I realize the camera is backwards. I'm sorry, I forgot to do it. I forgot to switch it before, but my gloves are already on, and the camera doesn't work too good with gloves on, I found that out. I use a product called Citra Strip. It's an orange gel. It doesn't have a very strong odor, so it's safe to use indoors, and it actually doesn't stink. It smells like oranges, and actually it's kind of pleasant. I wouldn't go around sniffing it if I were you. I still don't think that would be good, but it's, it's safe enough to use indoors. Always wear your protective gear. Uh, wear your gloves. So what I do is I take this, and I use it, um, and I've already covered my table with it. I take it, I pour it on. I take a little chip brush, just a really cheap, inexpensive, throwaway brush. Don't use anything good because it's not going to be good to use after you use it. And then I put a light coat all over the surface. And within like 10 minutes, you will see it kind of bubbling on the surface. That's the old varnish that bubbles up. And that lets you know kind of when it's softened up and it's ready to remove. And this, I did this probably about 30 minutes ago. So it's, it's really good and bubbly right now. And I think it's the perfect time to actually remove it. I have seen other furniture painters and uh, artists out there who actually let it dry and then scrape it off. I like to do mine wet because that's just kind of what I do. So I'm sure there's a million different ways to do one thing. Learn that in nursing, that's for sure. So after it's set and it gets kind of bubbly, hang on, let me get my other tool that I use. I have a little scraper. I had a little scraper. Oh, okay, here you go. Let me show you what I use. This is just a plastic scraper. It's really, uh, I don't even know where I got it. I don't even know what it's used for, but it's a tool that I have. I use, I like to use the plastic. I don't like to use metal because I don't want to scratch anything up. I want it to be really pretty. Hey, Patricia, how are you, sweetie? Good to see you. So what I do is I start with the edge. First off, you're going to need paper towels, a lot of paper towels. Let me get those. I'm going to put both gloves on. Have your trash can pretty close because you're going to have a lot of trash coming up here. It's really goopy. You know, and it's not hard. It's just messy. It's messy. That's, that's, nobody likes to strip. Everybody hates this job. I hear this over and over and over again. But I just take it and I run it around and you can see it comes off really easy. And then I wipe it on my paper towel. I just repeat the process all the way across it. And you can see it just coming off like super, super easy. This is like the best gratification ever, you know? Why, why is this so pleasing? Just to remove this old ooky stuff? Now watch this. Can you see this? Look, all of that's off. It's that simple. It's not hard at all. This actually removes, this uh, citrus strip removes paint and varnish. I've used it for both. Both works really well. Works really good when somebody painted over varnish too, but you usually have to use it twice when you do that. But you can see all of this is just coming off just in big sheets. Very, very, very simple. 
citrus, citrus strip is available for purchase at most hardware stores. I think Walmart carries it. You can, you can uh, order it on Amazon, and actually there's a link up above to my Amazon shop. If you want to see some of the products that I use, you can find it there. But look how simple that was, and that's almost all off except for this side over here. Let me go back over on this side and get the rest of it. I have stripped huge pieces before completely down and just left it as raw wood and then sealed it, and it's beautiful. This, however, I think is like a hard rock maple. It's got that yellowy, orangey tone to it and not really the most popular with styles right now, so we're going to put another product on top to kind of darken this top up. Uh, uh, excuse me. Darken the top, the top up. I'll darken it a bit. Okay, so all that's off. And two, what you want to do is always, if you're going to have to do this process on a piece of furniture, strip your top before you paint because you're going to have stuff that's going to drop down here. And if you paint all of this first and then strip the top, you're going to have a hot mess. And you're going to be calling me and you're going to be mad and you say, you didn't tell me that. Well, I'm telling you now. Strip your top first. Finish your top before you even paint the bottom. Paint doesn't fall up. It falls down, right? Exactly. Okay. So that's all off. Okay. Now... Now that you've got that off, this is what I do. I take some steel wool. I've got, this is a, uh, a super fine 0000, final finish steel wool. I take this and I have some odorless mineral spirits. I like the odorless. I guess you can use the odors if you want to. Uh, I like this one. I pour just a tiny bit on top of my steel wool, and then I go over my whole piece just really, really lightly, and get your paper towels, because you're gonna have some spillage, and that will remove any of the leftover varnish that didn't come off with the orange gel. I'll tell you, it, it really came off quickly. It wasn't, I didn't have a problem with this one. This one's going to be super easy to finish out. Just give it a good scrub. This is going to remove any dirt and everything. There shouldn't be anything left on this after I finish, and it'll be ready to stain. And if any of the uh, mineral spirits gets down on the side of your furniture, it's okay because we've already established that we're going to be painting that, and that's not a problem. That is it. This looks clean as a whistle. Can you see that? Super clean, all the varnish is off. The only thing left to do now is to allow this to dry. And then I'm gonna go back with some sandpaper and with some 220 and I'm gonna lightly sand it really smooth. And then I'll go back with a mixture of half and half alcohol, denatured alcohol and water in a spray bottle. I'll mist it down as well as the whole piece and clean that before I'm ready to paint anyway. And then we're gonna stain the top and we'll do that first. I'm not gonna do it today because it needs to dry, but I'll show you what I'm gonna use. This is what the, the customer had asked for. It's a General Finishes uh, Java Gel Stain. It's a really, really dark. She wants a, a dark, dark, top and then a lighter bottom. Um, General Finishes uh, Gel Stain is really super nice and it's like gel. So once this is sanded and cleaned again, like I said, with the alcohol and water half and half mixture, 
wipe it down and then you're going to take a soft cloth and you're just going to put a coat over the whole thing and you're going to let it dry just rub it in really good it'll be pretty you'll see all the wood grain kind of through it but it'll be mostly dark and she wants to get rid of all of this yellow orangish look she doesn't want any of that in her house once that dry then you can go back over with a varnish and seal it and that's dried then you can go ahead and paint the rest of your piece and then you're done it's it's really not that hard it's pretty simple pretty uh, straightforward how to remove old varnish off of a top of a piece of wood. So that's it, my tip for today. Get back over here so I can see you guys. Do you have any questions about this? Oh, you love the background with the sink. <laughs> Patricia, you would be looking other than at the furniture, right? Isn't that what creatives do? We're looking all around us, like we're looking everything else. So anyway. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to go ahead and I've got this one done. I'm going to go ahead and bring the dresser and I'm going to get it done and I'll get started on that. So um, if you have any questions or you uh, want to see the products that I use on today's project, you can check out my Amazon store. There's a link up at the top and I'll also put it down in the video as well. So you guys go paint something. Go do something. Okay. Don't be sitting around watching videos all day like I've been doing. All right. Peace out, guys. Love you.